All right. Hello, I'm Julianne Neal, and I'm so happy today to be speaking with one of our Equus authors, Ginger Gaffney. And Ginger, I'd love to speak with you a little bit about your book, Half Broke. Can you tell us about that project and why you decided to write? Uh, I was in the middle of an MFA program where I'd be begun an MFA program and I was writing poetry. Um, I'm a horse trainer for like the last 25 years or more of my life, and I still uh, work as a horse trainer. So when I was in my MFA program, I was supposed to be writing poetry and I was writing these stories that just kept coming out of me about my time, my first year and a half working at an alternative prison. Mm -hmm. They had br brought me in to help with some really poorly behaved animals, horses. Um, and that, that, whole, that whole time of my life really had such an impact on me, working not just with the horses, but out of 10 different residents and that were in the long and short term uh, prison situations. And um, so that's how it got started was me in my MFA program and then trying to write poetry and all I could do was write these stories. Write the stories. Yeah. Well, it sounds like when you came into this whole situation, the horses are scavenging through the trash and pris the prisoners were basically running the program. Um, yeah. how, how did that work? Well, they, they um, they had, didn't have any outside help at all. And they're pretty closed, just like most prison situations there. They were pretty closed society. And um, it, it, I think it took a couple people getting hurt and a couple of horses getting hurt where they actually had to really reach outside themselves and get help. Um, and so, yeah, that was the case that the horses were chasing the residents down when they were carrying the trash out after breakfast, lunch and dinner, they would knock them over and pick up like a bag of ramen noodles and run off across the pasture with it. Um, and and it, to their to their uh, credit, they didn't know any better. And so they started thinking that this was normal horse behavior. And this had been going on probably for 20 years. Not these same horses, but they had had horses. And after I started the program and started working there, I spent seven years doing it as a volunteer. The book is about the first year and a half, but it, I spent seven years sort of getting the program up and running so that they had the knowledge and skills that they could start passing down to the new prisoners that came in once the sentences were all up. Um, so they, they are, they're pretty good now as natural horsemen, you know, knowing how to handle the horses uh, and I did a lot of riding. We did a lot of riding. We did some jumping. We, we really transformed the whole situation. But it took a lot, lot more than I, I did not know what I was walking into. And, I can imagine. Yeah. So, and it is still a program that's running now? Well, COVID has shut it down as far as I can tell, because they, they were not letting anybody in or out. Um, they may still, I, I think they're still working the horses, but I, I'm not going over there anymore. So I'm right. Fingers crossed that I don't get a call one day. <laughs> right. Oh, gosh. Well, COVID has definitely changed everything, even with our virtual format here. Um, it's great to get to speak with people. But yeah, those those types of situations, the shutdown for something like that is, is sad. So are there any plans to write more to continue the story? I mean, if you told the first year and a half, I can imagine you've got a lot more to tell. <laughs> well, um, those were the most exciting years. The sure. rest of it is, <laughs> the rest of it is like horse training, you know. And I, some people, some people think horse training, watching horse training, is like watching paint dry. <laughs> so, uh, so I don't know. If there's a, a story for me. I am writing another book, um, and it's. And I started working at another facility just close to my house. Another uh, recovery. It's a long-term recovery, and they asked me to come in. Uh, and develop a program kind of like I did at the at the prison. Um, and so the book is about like the first six and eight months that I worked with six women there um, mm -hmm. and what kind of happened during that time. And it was kind of another disaster. So I'm, I'm, I'm working on that right now. Yeah. Oh, I look forward to reading that one too then. That'll be yeah. great. So if folks wanted to find out more about you and about your writing and both of the books, where would they find you online? So my name is Ginger Gaffney and I have a website. My horse training and my writing workshop is a uh, uh, website is the same. It's uh, www.gingergaffney.com. And, you know, my email's on there. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm an open, like I'm an author that I don't, you can, you can write me, I'll write you back. I'm, I'm very responsive. So yeah, that's where you can uh, find a place to buy the book too, but you can also buy it through Equishopper. Um, or your local bookstore, because gosh knows they need need you to buy from them. 
Exactly, exactly. Well, thank you so much for telling us a little bit more about it. And we look forward to hearing more from you in the future. Thank you, Ginger. Thank you. Thank you, Julianne.